Hello everyone! Let's talk about me again! And this time, we're going to talk about why you need to brush my hair. Regular brushing removes dead hair. Distributes natural oils for a clean and healthy coat. Stimulates the surface of the skin. Gets rid of dead and dry skin. And helps you become familiar with your dog's body. You should brush your dog every couple of days no matter the length of his coat. Grooming your dog keeps him healthy and is also an important part of your relationship. When you're grooming your dog, you're not only keeping his coat, skin, feet, ears, and teeth healthy, you're becoming familiar with his body so that you'll notice early on if anything is unusual and needs veterinary attention. When you're learning to groom your dog, be patient and use lots of treats. Start slowly and add more as your dog accepts what you're doing. If you start getting frustrated, stop and come back to it later. Remember to keep it positive and fun and take your dog to a professional groomer if needed. Here are the questions that you might need. Is brushing hair good for dogs? Brushing your dog regularly not only keep his coat looking good, it helps release dead hair, cuts down on excess shedding, removes mats, and distributes the natural oils in the skin to keep your dog healthy. To make brushing safe and comfortable, teach your dog the stand command. Do dogs feel better after being brushed? Regular grooming relaxes the dog who's used to it, and it becomes a special time that you can both share. A coat free of mats, burrs, and tangles, and skin free of fleas and ticks are as comfortable to your dog as fresh, clean clothes are to you. It makes you feel good, and the effect is the same for your pet. Is it bad to not brush your dog? If you don't groom your dog, dead skin and dirt are going to pile up on their coat. If hair stays matted for too long, it can lead to skin irritation, bacteria growth, and even parasites. No matter the length of their coat, you should brush your dog's hair every couple of days. Do dogs need to be brushed every day? Dogs do not require daily brushing. Even dogs require frequent art home groomings for coat maintenance still usually only need to be brushed a few times each week. Why do dogs hate being brushed? Their fur may have been brushed too hard or that they might have sensitive skin and will avoid your brush to prevent potential pain. And of course, some dogs are also just impatient. They've got energy to burn and don't want to sit still. Should you brush your dog before or after a bath? You should brush your dog or cat before and after a bath, but only if you regularly brush him at least three times a week. Brushing can be painful and uncomfortable if there are mats or nuts in your pet's fur. This can turn grooming into a negative. You can't just brush them out. What happens if you don't groom your dog? But for dogs and cats, proper hair hygiene is essential. Failure to groom pets regularly can have serious health consequences. A groomer may discover health issues before you know they exist, including cysts, bad skin conditions, and ear infections, all of which can hide under fur. What happens if you don't brush your golden retriever? When long-haired dogs go without the necessary grooming, they develop painful tangles and mats. And of course, they don't look their beautiful best. Choosing a long-haired breed means committing to caring for his coat on a regular basis. 
Can you brush your dog's hair too much? When forminating your dog's coat, make sure their coat is completely dry and don't brush too hard or for too long as it can irritate their skin and cause coat damage if overused. Does sleeker brush hurt dog? A brush will not hurt your dog, literally, but an improper way of using the sleeker brush will. Brushing through a dense, curly, long coat of hair will put pressure on the hair shaft. Thus, there is a tendency of breakage when too much force is exerted. What is the correct way to brush a dog? Brush in the direction of hair growth. Don't use too much pressure so that it hurts your dog's skin. Instead, apply firm strokes that will help remove dead hairs. Then, use a shedding blade to grab dead hairs all over the coat. Shedding blades are ex an excellent way to help reduce shedding and prevent knots. What do groomers use to dash dogs? A sleeker brush's fine metal bristles are best used on long-haired, dense-coated dogs. Some groomers recommend using a small sleeker brush for toes, legs, face, and tail, and a larger brush for the rest of the body. Sleeker brushes are also helpful at removing tangles in the coat of cats or dogs. How do I keep my dog while brushing? Start with short sessions of just a few minutes at a time and work your way to longer ones. Once your dog is adjusted to the environment, the tools and the touch get to grooming but takes breaks in between steps if necessary. How do groomers keep dogs still? Some dogs will quiet down with a towel placed over their eyes or heads. Groomers may use that trick to calm down an anxious dog. Groomers also sometimes use a second feather tied around the dog's waist or looked under one front leg to keep the dog still. If the dog becomes uncooperative, the treats stop. Do dogs like being groomed? Most dogs enjoy being gently brushed. Regularly brushing your dog will strengthen your bond with it while helping it maintain a healthy and clean coat. A dog's brushing needs depend on its hair type. Medium, hairy dogs may be prone to matting and tangles and should be brushed at least weekly. Does brushing dogs stimulate hair growth? For short coat, this is similar to a smooth coat but with slightly longer hairs. At least once a week, use a sleeker brush from front to back of your dog's coat. Use a bristle brush to loosen dead hairs and stimulate new hair growth. Should I brush my dog's undercoat? Brushing your dog's undercoat is not easy, but it's a necessary part of keeping your dog healthy and happy. Even if your dog does not like the feeling of a brush, you can brush them to get rid of excess fur. Not only will that help you avoid fur all over the floor, but it will allow your dog's skin to breathe. What do I do if my dog's hair is matted? If the mat is not too big or tight, the best way to tackle it is to gently work it apart with your fingers, then comb out the smaller tangles with a brush or metal comb. Using an oil-based detangling spray will help to comb through the fur. Is it better to brush a dog wet or dry? It is recommended that you brush your dog when their coat is dry. Wet hair can make mats worse and more difficult to remove. If you want to brush your dog's hair following a bath, let their coat dry prior to brushing. Why does my dog bite me when I brush him? If he's biting when he's being brushed, then it's likely because he does not enjoy brushing. He's fearful of the brush or he's been abused before. Though, there could be other reasons your dog is upset and bites during brushing. You can retain him to be tolerant 
and well-mannered during brushing. What is a dog haircut called? Dog grooming refers to both the hygienic care and cleaning of a dog, as well as a process by which a dog's physical appearance is enhanced for showing or other types of competition. A dog groomer, or simply groomer, is a person who earns their living grooming dogs. Why do dogs eat their own hair after brushing? When dogs eat fur or hair, it is usually their own. Anxiety is the most common cause of pulling out and eating hair in dogs. This type of behavior is almost always a result of a nervous or anxious behavioral problem. If your dog is stressed or stressed out about something, they turn to pulling their hair and eating it. If you'd like to know more about how to take care of your dog like me, please follow me and do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hit the notification bell so you see more uploads coming from me. And also, like this video. Thank you for watching. Tata for now. Please subscribe, 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 and do not forget to like this video. Please subscribe. Ruff, ruff, please subscribe. I think my human is finally finished brushing my hair. Now I want to do something else, but please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Again, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. Ruff, ruff, ruff.